Hello ladies and gents and welcome to this tutorial on musical typing in BandLab Cakewalk. First of all, BandLab Cakewalk is a completely free digital audio workstation available for Windows-based computers and if you haven't got it already you can download it following the links in the comments below. Rather impressive it is as well, sadly not available for the Mac. So musical typing is what you'll need to do if you don't have one of these. In fact, you can do it even if you have got one of those, it's quite fun. But essentially it gives you facilities to enter musical data using just a normal QWERTY typing keyboard on your laptop. You do the whole lot in the box without any external equipment whatsoever. Blue Peter Styley, I do have a project I started earlier with just a few bars of a bit of a group put together and I've added an extra track at the bottom here by insert soft synth track and I've chosen a piano sound on the TTS one. Look at my other videos for how to do that and how to apply MIDI sequencing within Cakewalk. So I want to enter data, but I don't have a musical keyboard. So what do I do? Well, it's very straightforward. If you go to views and then to virtual controllers, you simply select your computer keyboard. And this is what pops up. It takes some getting used to if you're used to a musical keyboard, uh, but it is laid out as you can see the white notes and the black notes for one octave. It's also got numbers here for your modulations. That's instead of a modulation wheel, it behaves slightly differently. We'll come to that in a minute. It's got Z and X or arrows for going up and down in octaves and C and V or arrow up, arrow down for changes of velocity. So we've got a hold button, which is like a sustain pedal and you can start and stop. Uh, using your space bar. Other hotkeys work as well, like R for record and things like that, so be careful. You can sometimes set that off by pressing the wrong notes. <laughs> and what we've got here is if I start um, playing some of these notes, we've got... And that's playing a... What is that? That's playing a C, actually, so don't get confused. It's obviously a letter A, but certainly playing a C. You can see from the white and black notes. There's a C major scale. All right, so there's your notes. You can change the octave. Uh, you can change velocities. Okay, let's get that back up again in velocity. Let's try a bit of, let's see what happens when we put the modulation on. So at the moment it's off, as you can see, number one, put on its max, you've got doesn't sound like piano anymore, but it's quite useful if you're doing the solos. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. <laughs> oh, so I just pressed record there by mistake by pressing an R, which isn't one of the notes. All right. So how does this translate to recording? Well, you just follow the same protocol of recordings you would if you had a actual music keyboard or MIDI controller. You've got to make sure that nothing is record enabled that you don't want to record over. Because uh, if you leave other record enables on, it will just simply record over what you recorded already. So I want to make sure that I've got both this new track selected and the record enable is on. So I can now record a new jam. I should practice first really, so I'm going to embarrass myself on YouTube. Just so you know, I've also got a metronome set up up here with a pre-counting of two, which gives me a little bit of time to breathe and get in the groove before I record, so that makes sure I'm give me a click, 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 click for two bars. So I'm going to press record, I get two bars, and then we're in. So before I record, I'm going to have a little jam, just see what this sounds like, and give it a go. Let's get a bit more velocity. Get the right nose. Let's go on an octave. It's obviously polyphonic, you can play more than one note once. Oh, I must have hit a... So, a little jam, a few ideas there. Uh, let's just now record something. Do make sure that the right track is record enabled. No other tracks are record enabled or record over those. Select the right track, 
there it is that's a record on it means it's enabled or armed I've got this set up with a click with two bar counting let's give this a go oh, I don't know what I recorded there There we go, that's what I just recorded. Could get a little tighter if I, um, I just quantize it. I'll do this properly a different tutorial. Let's put it. There we are, okay. It's not exactly genius, but that's how we use musical typing in Bandlab Cakewalk. Hope that was of help. Thanks for watching.